legendary team. The Clarence team of 1970. The Clarence Football Club joined the TANFL in 1947 and had only made 10 finals appearances in the competition before the season of 1970. Former Melbourne champion Stuart Spencer resigned as coach in 1966 and chosen to replace him was St Kilda Premiership player and Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame inductee John Bingley, the man who would have a profound impact on the club's fortunes. Two or three weeks after St Kilda won their Premiership, we came, we went back to Hobart. Under Bingley, the Roos quickly adopted his burning desire for success, and it wasn't long before they became a force in Southern football for the first time in their history. I looked at the thirds, in the, in the thirds, and I saw about three or four guys there that I thought, okay, I'm gonna build a side. He provided a courageous leadership here, second to none in my opinion, and, and he played that way. He asked, no quarter and he gave no quarter. After three consecutive finals appearances and a grand final defeat by North Hobart in 1969, Clarence and Bingley entered the 1970 season primed to end their premiership drought. During the off-season, the Roos had recruited several big names, most notably Bob Cheek, along with Adrian Bowden and centre man Bob Lynch. These stars, along with Mike Nash and former Richmond Rover Barry Teague, would all play a crucial role in the success coming their way. Finishing the season in second position, then beating Sandy Bay in the second semi, the Roos were to meet New Norfolk, with the scene set for one of the great TANFL Grand Finals. We won the game easily. One never looked like losing. At that stage, it was the biggest sporting event uh, success ever on the Eastern Shore. It was just an unbelievable atmosphere with Bell Reeve and the football club. About 15,000 people after the game celebrating. It was fantastic. The elation was, had to be seen and heard and experienced to believe it. It was a great, great, great time. The backup of the community on the Eastern Shore is still there today. And the supporters were the most magnificent supporters of the league. In a sign of how much Bingley's efforts had meant to the community, a street on the Eastern Shore was named Bingley Street in his honour. Of all the things someone could be proud of, if you're a player, you know, everyone gets a trophy here and that and whatever. To get a street named after you, I take that as a great honour. The Clarence team of 1970 were the pioneers for the club's subsequent success, with the Roos going on to win a further 14 senior TFL, SFL and TSL premierships since that initial triumph 46 years ago. That was a bigger night after that grand final than it was when St Kilda won their first premiership in Melbourne in 66.